And amid a row with the U.S. over the AUKUS deal, the European Union is now trying to improve ties with China. At least that's what the recent engagements between the two indicate. In a virtual meeting with Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi, EU's foreign policy chief Josep Borrell called for continuation of talks between Brussels and Beijing. Now he added that while disagreements still persisted, the EU and China need to continue engaging intensively in a number of areas. Interestingly, Borrell highlighted the European Union's Indo-Pacific strategy. The region has been at the forefront of U.S.-China tensions. Wang Yi said that EU and China must boost political trust and manage their differences. Remember, EU member states slammed China over human rights abuses in Xinjiang. However, despite their tensions, China remains the bloc's largest trading partner. But it seems like their cooperation is going beyond economy. The AUKUS or the Australia-UK-US Naval Pact has dented Brussels' ties with the U.S. This as Australia cancelled a submarine deal with France in favour of American nuclear-powered submarines. Now, the AUKUS agreement comes as U.S. attempts to counter Chinese influence in the Indo-Pacific. The EU rallied behind France. The situation became so tense that France even temporarily recalled its envoy to the United States. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.